I have no prior knowledge about Navy SEAL, so I have no clue what's about to happen. I just know that their workouts are very intense. Um, I know a few people that went to the Navy told me it's pretty difficult, so I have no idea what we're about to do. Hopefully I'll make it out in one piece, and after that, I mean, it'll hopefully it'll bring our team closer together. You know, that's kind of the main goal of this whole thing. So, um, I mean, if that happens, then I'll be happy. You know, I might be a little sore, but it's all worth it. I think we're all kind of a little nervous. Like, we just don't know what's, what's about to happen, so. To be honest with you, you're not going to step outside of your comfort zone today and tomorrow. I'm going to shove you out of it. I'm going to shove you so far out of your comfort zone, some of you are not going to know what to do. Tomorrow morning, the deep end of the pool, some of you are going to be scared for your lives. You're going to get outside of your comfort zone. How we react to that, well, that's entirely the people. One, two, three. There was a great shock value, which I think is important for us in the long run. Workouts were pretty hard. I mean, as, as a unity, I think we did good. We, uh, we all came together. We, uh, we figured out a lot of weaknesses that we had. I wanted to, to uh, have our guys go through an experience like that for mainly team building and team bonding. I think it exposes uh, not just the physical part of, of having a team with great chemistry, but the most important part, which is to make sure they're on the same page mentally. Men at the program, who we are, the program is a leadership and team development company. Our mission is to develop better leaders and create more cohesive teams. We do so through shared adversity. We do so through shared adversity. We believe that you grow as an individual. You become more cohesive as a team when you step outside of your comfort zone. Either way, I'm going to get what I want, how I get it. That's entirely up to you all. Didn't care really if we were like falling over and everything. The hoodie in the pool, that was probably the hardest part. Guys, I never really thought like spoke or really cared that much for like leading the group a lot. Uh, they had Tommy up there. Tommy, probably one of the more quiet guys. He probably led us the best out of everybody that led. I, I got a chance to like speak and like have everybody listen to me, which like doesn't you know happen very often. I'm like never really in the forefront, so it was a good feeling. I think I took advantage of it pretty well. And overall, they did you know decently well. But I think because of what they expected or what they thought was going to happen, which was totally different from what did happen, uh, it took them back a step. And the pool is real wet, so we were slipping around. As a team, I think we got a lot better. Uh, again, from an accountability standpoint, just from the effort and, and camaraderie um, area, you know, I just feel like that's something that we needed to work on. The program kind of showed us that, you know, it's really important in getting a job done. We're selfless, we're tough, and we're disciplined. We're selfless, we're tough, and we're disciplined. I mean, change is always change is always the scariest thing to deal with and at, at any level. It's uncertainty can change at, at any level, in any arena, there's always the most challenging to deal with. You think to have so winning. Winning to have is luck. But to make winning a habit, but well, we gotta start winning long before we ever step foot on a basketball. We gotta start winning in the weight room, in the practice room, in the classroom, our family teams, our church services. All the teams are on. We gotta start winning everything we do. We need a new power. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven.